Hey, what's up guys? I think I've made you wait long enough for part two of my Sentinel guide. If you haven't seen part one yet, it might be a good idea to start with that. I'll link it in the description for you just in case you need it. In this video, we're gonna be going over fast flies and how to perform them. I originally wanted to have my second video to cover fast flies, unflies, and reflies, but I think it's better to separate all these into their own video. That way I can go over them thoroughly without having the video be too long. Hopefully you don't mind. Okay, so what's a fast fly? A fast fly is when you cancel the recovery of your flight activation with a direction. And the way that you cancel the recovery is by letting your stick return to neutral before hitting the direction you want to go in. This is what it looks like on a fight stick. I'll show some slow motion and some real time. And to help understand how useful fast flies are, Let's go over the most basic form of a fast fly, which is using it for efficient movement with Sentinel. In this first example, I won't be doing a fast fly. You'll see that when I initiate flight mode and hold forward, there's a slight pause before Sentinel actually moves. In this second example, I let my stick return to neutral for a split second before going forward. Now you'll see that we're bypassing the activation recovery and immediately flying forward. Fast flying for movement is really good because you can apply it to your defense and offense. You can use it to effectively fly away from your opponents, or you can do some quick maneuvering to avoid some attacks and projectiles. Or you can use it to close the gap on your opponent faster to apply pressure, especially pressure created from calling assists while in flight mode. Next, we'll go over how to follow up a fast fly with an attack. I'll start by quickly showing what an attack looks like with and without a fast fly. This first example will be with no fast fly. You see that I initiate flight mode and immediately mash light kick to show how much of a delay there is between activating flight mode and the light kick actually coming out. Doesn't look like much of a delay, but now let's see what it looks like with a fast fly added. Now when I initiate flight mode, I briefly let my stick return to neutral and then press forward and light kick. You'll see now that my light kick comes out pretty much instantly because the sequence of letting my stick go to neutral and then hitting a direction cancels the recovery of flight mode activation, allowing for an immediate follow-up. And just so you know, any direction after returning to neutral will work as shown here. This is a game changer because this opens up combo routes for Sentinel that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Without a fast fly, an air combo pretty much has to end in a rocket punch or a heavy attack for a hard knockdown. But since we're adding fast flies to our arsenal, we can instead do combos like this. And what's even better is that since we can call assists in flight mode, we can now call an assist in the middle of an air combo for some big damage, since we're flying in the middle of our combo. Here's just a few other fast fly plus assist combos that are definitely worth knowing. Okay, cool. So we learned how to fast fly and how to use it for movement, offense, and defense. I'll leave you with a few more bits of information that are good to know while you practice your fast flies. First thing is, I suggest trying to fast fly 100% of your flight mode activations because it's the most efficient way for Sentinel to move and there's just really no reason not to do it. So practice the timing and ingrain it into your brain. The second thing is that passing your stick through the neutral position also works for pulling off a fast fly, which is why flying forward or up forward are popular directions to fast fly in. Since the flight input ends in back, you can pass through neutral by flying forward or even up forward. Me personally, I prefer the idea of getting used to letting your stick return to neutral to do a fast fly. If you can lock that down, you don't need the crutch of being able to pass through neutral. Plus, passing through neutral only works with a very limited amount of directions. And trust me, there's fast fly combos that require you to fast fly in all directions for them to work. And the last thing is, since returning your stick to neutral is such an important aspect of playing Sentinel at its full potential, 
A lot of people opt into having tighter springs or grommets in their fight stick because having more stick resistance means that your stick will return to neutral faster, which a lot of people correlate to playing Sentinel better. All right guys, I'm sorry to do it to you, but that's gonna be it for this video. Part three of this video series is gonna cover Sentinel's unfly state and how to use it. So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to support the channel, I recently unlocked YouTube memberships that come with custom badges and custom emotes that you can use on my channel. Tier 1 memberships cost only 3 bucks. I also unlock Super Thanks, which is a one-time donation that shows up as animated and highlighted comments on my videos. And if you choose to support with either one of these methods, thank you so much, it means a lot. And if nothing else, I just appreciate you watching to the end. If you have any questions or want to discuss anything, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Alright, peace.